Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and today is the very first video in a brand new series called Pro Tools Quick Tips. In these videos, I'm gonna take just a couple of minutes and walk you through various functions within Pro Tools. So whether you're just getting started, trying to wrap your head around what Pro Tools can do, or you've been using it for a while, but you just wanna expand your horizons, these videos are for you. In today's video, we're gonna talk about taking a MIDI track and easily converting it over to an audio track. I had a project this past weekend where I actually had to use this to reverse the audio on this track. And I'm gonna use this example today, but there could be other reasons. Maybe you wanna free up some CPU power so you don't have to run a virtual instrument. You just convert that MIDI track over to an audio track. So let's jump over to Pro Tools and just take a look. I've got a session opened up here and I'm gonna create a new track. And this track is gonna be an instrument track. So we're gonna do stereo instrument track, which is gonna allow us to put a virtual instrument on this and record the MIDI note. We're gonna call this piano. And we're gonna create. So that's gonna create a new track for us. In the first insert slot, we're gonna go select a multi-channel instrument. And then I'm gonna select my addictive keys. We'll just throw a grand piano on here. Let that load up and in Pro Tools, in order to hear the sound, you have to arm the track. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna record, I'm gonna back this up, and we're gonna record just a few bars of piano. And remember, when you're using an instrument track, Pro Tools is just recording the data of what we're playing, the notes we're playing, the velocity, whether I'm pressing the sustain pedal or not. So we're gonna go ahead and arm our session. We've got our track armed and we're just gonna hit the play. Go ahead and stop that. Let's back it up and let's play that back. So we've got our MIDI track there, right? We could unarm this and we could actually change the virtual instrument that's in our insert to any virtual instrument we want. And because Pro Tools, if I double click on this, you'll notice these are just MIDI notes. If I click one, those are the actual notes I played, and it records the velocity and those sorts of things. So the data is there, right? But I can't do any audio manipulations with this. I can't reverse it. I can't do some of the functions that you can do with an audio waveform. So in order to convert this to an audio file, we're gonna create a new stereo track, and you wanna reflect. So if I had done a mono instrument track, then we wanna create a mono audio track. Because I created a stereo instrument track, we're gonna create a stereo audio track, and we're gonna name this Piano Audio. We're gonna create that, and that's gonna throw it down below. There's nothing in there right now, and what I'm gonna do is highlight the MIDI track that's on my instrument track here, and all you're gonna do is click and drag that down and release it over the audio track we just created. Pro Tools is gonna do what it's called bouncing, and that's converting that MIDI track with your virtual instrument into an audio waveform. So now you'll see we have an audio waveform there, and let me expand this a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. And let me back this up. And if I were to play this, I'd get two tracks essentially playing a duplicate. So if I solo the first one, that's the piano that we played with the MIDI notes, and solo the audio, exactly the same thing, but as you'll notice, we have no insert with that virtual instrument. So now what we can do is we can perform manipulations to this that we can do with an audio waveform. We could go ahead and mute or delete our virtual track. My recommendation would be before you convert them over to make a backup of your session or create your new track, convert it over, create a backup before you go and delete your MIDI track if that's something that you're gonna do. It's nice to have that MIDI track there as a backup just in case you need to fix some notes, change some timing, or even maybe change the key. It's good to have that backup in case you wanna to get to the raw data file that you created this audio waveform from. So again, just to recap, we recorded our data. You could also import MIDI data, throw that into an instrument track with a virtual instrument on it. And then all you're gonna do is create a new audio track 
either mono or stereo, depending on which one your instrument track is. And then you're just gonna drag your MIDI file down and drop it over the audio track. And Pro Tools is gonna take care of the rest. It's gonna bounce that and convert it to an audio file for you where you can perform audio related functions to that to your heart's content. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. Stay inspired and keep making that music. Thank you.